Hi, I'm Abigail Hyman with Rebel News. Who are you? Good to meet you. I'm David Delighton with the Center for Medical Progress. We're the organization responsible for the undercover videos of Planned Parenthood's top-level leadership callously negotiating the harvesting and sale of aborted baby body parts from their late-term abortion business. So your video, the one that was at the restaurant, was one of the first videos that came out and exposed Planned Parenthood. It's when the lady at the restaurant, if I remember correctly, she talked about how you how Planned Parenthood was selling the body parts of the babies and she was just talking about it so casually over her dinner yes. and since then what backlash have you faced? Planned Parenthood was not happy to have their late-term abortion business selling baby body parts for profit exposed by the undercover videos so they have hit back with everything they have they have sent their political allies like Kamala Harris back when she was Attorney General of California after me to raid my home to take away our video recording equipment to charge me with felonies under the California video recording law, the first time in the 50-year history of that law that it has ever been used to prosecute news gathering in public places, by the way, in public restaurants. And Planned Parenthood filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against me and my organization in federal court. Uh, the judge, who uh, is the founder of a Planned Parenthood clinic in San Francisco, Judge William Oreck, Obama appointee, directed the jury that they had to find us guilty. So they got a $2.3 million fine in that lawsuit. We're appealing all of this. Obviously, it's going up on appeal in the next year, and we're not going away. We're not backing down. We're going to continue to publish the truth about what Planned Parenthood does to children in the womb. Do you think a lot of conservatives know what you're going through? I mean, I'm sure everybody's seen that first video. I mean, this it's glued in my mind. But do they know about the struggle you're facing and how you're having to appeal the case? You know, it depends on what people are focused on. You know, I think the people who are really focused on uh, children in the womb and abortion policy in our country uh, have been following the story. Other people in the right of center world who are really concerned about free speech, who are really concerned about how taxpayer money is used by some of these big corrupt organizations, maybe haven't heard as much as recently. Uh, so that's why we're here at CPAC. We're trying to get the word out. We want people to know that we're still here. The videos are still available. There is more footage that's going to come out very soon. Have you faced any backlash also from the court for these videos? Have they tried to prohibit you from coming out with new footage? Definitely. Close to half of the undercover footage that we ever recorded is still being held up in litigation. Uh, that is some of the most damning and incriminating undercover footage that we ever recorded. Um, and we are fighting very hard to try to liberate that footage. So we're hopeful that later, later this year we may be, able to be, may be able to get that out as well. And when you were in your court cases, were the, the jurors allowed to see the footage uh, of these individuals talking about abortion and what's taking place from plant? Planned Parenthood? They were barely allowed to see any of the footage. It was very tightly controlled by this biased Planned Parenthood founder judge, Judge Oreck, who was ruling over the courtroom and really uh, kept a very tight control on what footage the jury was allowed to see. They were barely able to see more than a few minutes when it was their job to decide whether or not these conversations were recorded in public places or private places, right? And yet they weren't even allowed to sit down and watch the entire video of the conversation to determine whether or not they thought this was in a public place or a private place. So it was completely outrageous and we think we have a very strong grounds on appeal uh, when we go on appeal later this year with these cases. Yeah, it seems it's really striking to me how there's such a conflict of interest there if the judge is behind a Planned Parenthood clinic and then they're involved in your case. I mean, it kind of reminds me of what's happened with Roger Stone as of late. It's like these people who are jurors or judges, if they have any connection to your case, you know, with any form of bias, they shouldn't be allowed to be involved in your case because it's going to influence their decision. So how do you get funding to help you with these lawsuits? Definitely. Center for Medical Progress is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We're at centerformedicalprogress.org. People who support our work can go there to support us. We also have a team of really great defense lawyers, including Harmeet Dillon, um, whom your viewers may be familiar with, as well as the Thomas More Society and the Freedom of Conscience Defense Fund. So you can support any of them as well if you want to support us in the legal fight uh, against Planned Parenthood's attempts to shut down our freedom of speech to report on their crimes. You know, yes. Americans yes. Around, around the nation need to be helping you and praying for you guys. And uh, thank you for sharing your story. Great. Thank you. Thank you for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when we publish a video. 
And while you're at it, why not head over to rebelnews.com and sign up for Rebel News Plus, where you can access our full-length videos. That's rebelnews.com.